What's going on YouTube? So we're looking at some of my favorite marijuana stocks. We'll start with the top five marijuana stocks and I might throw in a little bit extra. We'll see what happens like that. But um, I want to start with the ETF first but because it is a collection of stocks and for the sheer fact that the pandemic did shoot it down, I want to say that it would be nice to see it come back to this $40 area, 38 40 let's see what happens especially if the rest of the marijuana stocks start growing it's all the way up to 17 right now it, we may see it do a slight correction there's a possibility I would it would be nice for entry but overall it would be nice to see it keep continuing up to like that $38 area um and before I continue I would like to say that this video is strictly educational and I am not a financial advisor so invest at your own risk but um now let's get to the actual stocks that are some of them that are actually within MJ but um Tillery is a definite fave so I've had this one for a long time but yeah this is definitely what I'm looking at I'm looking at how it spiked up to 300 that one time and it would be nice to see it go to that level again it hasn't been there for a while though it, this was like 2018 when it actually did that and then it just sunk down but right now we have some really good news for Tilray it has a merger well I said it in the last video they had a merger with um Afria so with that going on that should be an explosive move for both of them and at the same time um because if you own some shares for free that's going to mean that you're going to get like 0.83 shares of tilray so you're getting some extra money some extra shares that are going to multiply if these companies keep growing especially if it goes to 180 and all the way back to that 300 range that would be cool I would love to see that that's what I really really want to see out of these two companies so let's get a look at it for you right now um, do I see this like getting lower not really um, but it is a possibility but we'll see what happens over time they are this is a great company and what does a free look like and it looks similar to Tilray but in the fact that it's a little bit cheaper it would be cool if it hit that trend line and went back to like six but that's not guaranteed really either what's the highest it's ever been it's been to about like yeah close to 20 bucks but we'll see what happens with this merger going on it would be cool if it exceeded that and then grow generation so grow generation whoops that one's a monster on its own if you got that one hey props to you I wish I got into that one early but at the same time I really should I, I can see opportunity in this one I really should just get into this one myself and then we have canopy growth that one I would say I would say grow generation would be the first place canopy growth would be second Tilray would be my number three a free uh, probably my number four so right now it is looking like a nice uptrend I just want to see it continue and it's like for how long it's been trying to break this $30 area for a while like it's been like a little bit over like 31 and 32 and all that but yeah it's just been slow about it I know it definitely wants to go to that 55 area but we'll see what happens with time and then Kronos group that's another one I have the highest it's ever been is about 24 but where it currently resides is about 978 so 
same level as the Freya. But yeah, let's see how well this one actually performs too. And then we'll give you another one. Village Farm has been performing exceptionally well. Honestly, I, it's good. They've been making some good moves, but would, the question is, will it retrace or will it continue? It's, especially with Biden in office now, I mean, he's in support of it. We just have to kind of see what kind of moves he makes towards making it legal as, as far as this one is concerned. Well, all of these stocks are concerned. It would be nice if all these stocks jumped because of that. And there's one more that's a bit cheaper, but at the same time, Oh shoot, that one was at a high at one point too, 33? I didn't even realize. I've been invested into this one for a little bit for a while, but... Oh, it was at April and then... Right when all the rest of them fell, that's when this one tanked too. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So... It would be cool to actually see it come back to the, these highs all over again. We'll see what happens with time. But, um, did you think this video was pretty helpful as far as showing you what's going on with, well, the prices, opportunities available to you? Feel free to give this video a like, feel free to share, feel free to subscribe if you want to see updates just like this.